Hello everyone, welcome to Cassiano Easy Math. So this video is about solving another exponential equation. Parenthesis 1 over 27 raised to the power 2 minus x equals 729. And we're going to find for the value of x. And before we start, for those new to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. I would appreciate it. And now let's start solving the exponential equation. So this exponential equation will be using... Uh, the uh, loss of uh, exponent to solve for the value of x and the, uh, this equation actually has several solutions and I'm choosing the loss of exponent to find for the value of x all right since we're using the loss of exponents over here our ways to find for the value of x is uh, get a common base for both sides of the equation so that's uh, how it goes in uh, finding for the value of x using the, uh, the loss of exponent. On different ways, like using the logarithm, we can directly solve the problem by equating this both side with the log or the common logarithm or the natural logarithm. So, all right, let's start. Write the equation again. 1 over 27 raised to the exponent 2 minus x equals 729. So now we focus our attention on the base, left side of the equation, 1 over 27. And the number 27 could be written the same way as 3 raised to the third power. Alright, so we use that instead of 27 on here. So that equation now becomes 1 over 3 raised to the third power raised to 2 minus x equals 729. And from here... I'm going to try to find uh, the reciprocal of this 1 over 3 raised to the third power. So I'm using the uh, exponent rule that is uh, 1 divided by a raised to m equals a raised to negative m. So we're doing the reciprocal of this 1 over a to the m in here. So we're this denominator 3 raised to the cube raised to the third power, as I say, will be transposed to the numerator of the fraction so that's become 3 raised to negative 3 raised to 2 minus x equals 729 so from here we'll be multiplying the exponent so by following another exponent rule that is a raised to m raised to n is equals to a raised to m times n so we're applying it on this all right so this is now simplified as 3 raised to negative 3 times 2 minus x equals 739 and here simplifying the exponent this becomes 3 raised to minus 3 or negative 3 times 2 that is negative 6 the negative 3 times negative x that is positive 3x is equal to 729 and next we'll be focusing our attention on the right side of the equation the uh, 729 right here the constant number so we're focusing on this constant on the right side of the equation 729 that means we're going to find the factors of 729 so that is 729 okay get a little graph over here And from here, if you know this 729, so if you add this up, the digits, 7 plus 2 is 9, plus 9, that's 18. That means this is divisible by 3. So 729 divided by 3, we start from here on the top. 7 divided by 3 is 2. 12 divided by 3 is 4. And 9 divided by 3 is 3. So 243. And now let's go then again divide by 3. 24 is 8. 3 by 3 is 1. And 81 divided by 3 again. So that's 2. And 21 that's 7. 27 divided by 3 is 9. Divide by 3 again is 3. And divide by 3 will become 1. So from here we've, we have just found the uh, factors of 729. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This simply means that uh, 3 goes into 729 for 6 times. So in exponential form, this can be expressed as 
3 raised to 6 power. So this uh, exponential form will be sub substituting this in place of 729. So the equation now is, and at the same time we transpose, we fix this one right here since I would like to, to transpose uh, this uh, exponent over here. So the equation now becomes 3 raised to 3x minus 6. That's written the same way. And 729 is 3 to the 6th power. So, and from here, we have achieved our goal in finding a common base. So from here, from the exponent rule, that is a raised to b equals a raised to c. Therefore, we can equate the exponents. b is therefore equal to c. So now we can disregard the base and we can equate the exponent. So the equation becomes now 3x minus 6 equals 6. Simplifying this equation, transposing negative 6 to the other side would become positive 6. So the equation now becomes 3x is equal to 6 plus 6. And this is equal to 12. Simplifying the equation further, 3x is equal to 12. We're dividing it by 3. So x becomes now 8. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So that's our final answer. If we were to check our answer, the value of x, we all we have to do is supply the value of x on here to the original equation. All right. So now we're checking our answer. x is equal to 4. We're substituting that to the original equation. Here I have written the original equation. And now we're substituting the value of x, which is 4. So in here now, 1 over 27 raised to the power 2 minus 4 equals 729. And from here, 1 over 27, 2 minus 4 is negative 2, is 729. And from here, if you notice, the exponent is now negative. That means we're transposing 27 from the denominator. It'll, be, it'll go up to be on the numerator. So this now becomes 27 squared is equal to 729. Question mark right there. Is that equal to 729? It is indeed 729. So 27 squared is 729. So that is 729 is equal to 729. So this just confirms the value of x is 4. All right. And so that's all for now. And for those new to my channel, Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. I would appreciate that. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, everyone. I will see you in the next videos. Bye.